Hi, my name is Ben McEwen. I'm a manager and immigration specialist here at BDB Solutions. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a consular processing case coming out of Mexico. As the EB3 process begins, we always start by filing an LC with the Department of Labor. The LC is an opportunity for your sponsoring employer to show the Department of Labor that they have made a good faith effort to hire American workers before choosing to sponsor an immigrant. Here you can see that the LC was filed with the department in August of 2019, and that in February of the following year, it received an audit. As you're looking at materials about EB3 visa processing, you might see that LC audits happen relatively routinely. When an audit is issued, the Department of Labor is just trying to make sure that the sponsor has actually followed the recruitment steps that they promised they would take. One out of every three LCs receives an audit and they're issued totally at random. It doesn't mean anything is wrong with your case. It just means that the Department of Labor is checking in to make sure that all the proper steps were taken. And as you can see, after that audit was responded to, this person's LC was approved shortly thereafter in June of 2020. Once you move past that stage with the Department of Labor, you file an I-140 with the uh, USCIS, which is the immigration branch of the United States government. The I-140 preserves your LC so that the LC doesn't expire, and it gives you the right to apply for a green card with the United States. All I-140s that BDV sends are done with premium processing that's already included in your fees. So that made this process go really quickly. It only took a month for this I-140 to get approved. When you're consular processing, you then take that I-140 that's been approved and you send a DS-260 to the Department of State. This is an electronic form that attorneys will assist you in preparing and sending so that you can continue your process in getting a green card. This person's interview happened just two years later at a consulate in Mexico, and then their visa was approved in January of 2023 for a total time of only 41 months. So as you can see from this case, no matter what you come up against, if there's a labor certification audit, or if you have a waiting period, BDD is here to help you every step of the way.